It's a makeshift city, a sprawling place of poverty and resilience. A place of patience. Those who fought the battles against apartheid here are still waiting for something better. Their sense of hope adds to Soweto's confusing atmosphere. Growing up here is all about making do. It's a dusty, no-frills childhood. But this young Suetan wants to rise above his circumstances. 13-year-old Mzambia takes any chance he can to rehearse his routine. It's the kind of dedication which has already made him a South African star. To be a star, you will never be a star like if you are singing or you tell yourself that ah, I'm going to be a star. You must learn, you know. And me too, I'm not a star now. And some of the people take me as a star, you know. If you want to be a star, you must learn and you must do your thing, not look something for each other. Yeah. You must do your thing, your style, and there you will be a great thing. You will make a great thing. Zambia has already released an album which has sold more than 80,000 copies in its first two months. It was produced by an independent label and is being played on top-rating radio stations. It's quite a career beginning for an artist who hasn't even started high school yet. So in order for that, you must have a good performance and we're just going to fix your levels up. It don't be too hard. This young boy has determination which is almost unsettling. He was only 10 years old when he started phoning producers in search of a recording deal. It was 1998, if I'm not mistaken, and when I first met him. You know, and then he used to phone me you know, and said, can you please give me a chance? You know, and then I was like, OK, I'll give you a chance. And I thought that I would just forget about him. But I mean, last year, uh, 1999, you know, it was like really a big man. Nah. And then I said to myself, no, I mean, I won't look any further. I must do something about this boy. Zambia got his first chance when he was invited to appear on a television talent show. The program, Jam Alley, is broadcast nationally in South Africa and is renowned for uncovering stars of the future. It was the first time you know, when I see uh, Zambia, and that is why when I speak to my partner, Nimrod, because you'll find that after, during the show, Nimrod was presenting the show because I, I'm behind the scene most of the time, you know. But after the show, I mean, he came to me and said, yes, sir, did you see that boy? And I said, yeah, man. And said, no, Oscar, man, really, we must really do something, you know. We must get together and find a way, you know. The same thing was going through the mind of people who were listening to Mozart at age five doing his thing, you know. It's amazement. It's got to be something that comes from God. It's got to be um, uh, some genius of some sort. <laughs> Zambia is part of a fresh movement in the South African music industry. It's called Kwaito. Kwaito songs are raucous, colourful and true to life. It's street music in street language. Well, it's nice, I mean, to, to sing how you speak. And also, it's freedom, you know. Somebody was saying because of the political freedom, we've got freedom to our languages, you know. So there's a freedom, because when you look back, Generally, all these years, we are not singing our languages. But now you are. Now we are. It, 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 it's wonderful. It's intoxicating. Kwaito draws on American hip-hop and local African rhythm. It's sung in township slang. But Mzambia's managers hope that language won't fence in their young star. 
South African music must not be limited to South Africa. It must not be strange when you listen to it or a white person listens to it. Uh, we listen to a lot of diverse mu music, like the Aboriginal um, sounds uh, from Australia. We listen to that, to the African sounds. You know, we're not only, as contrary to popular belief, influenced by American hip hop as much. You know, there's, there's other influences which shows in, in Zambia's um, music. Much of the music comes from Zambia's surroundings. It's about the hardships, aspirations and scarce opportunities of the townships, confronting material for someone so young. I mean, he's very young, but you know, you know, he knows what go what's going around, you know, in his street, because I mean, that area is very, very, very rough, you know. Sometimes, I mean, you'll find that the people are like shooting each other or some people are stealing cars, you know, and he knows about all those things. Zambia, tell me, what's it like to live in Zola? Uh, uh, to live in Zola, is, but I'm born there, and you understand that Zola is my place, and it's nice. Zola is a good place, and they've got a vibe in Zola. Zambia lives in one of the most dangerous parts of Soweto, a township called Zola. Zola has a hefty reputation for gangs and violent crime. It's the place which other Sowetans try to avoid. Oh, this is my house. I've been here for 13 years and with my mother, my father, my sister and my younger brother. And, yeah, you know. And this is my house. My mother is there inside and my sister. At home, Mzambia is the dutiful son rather than the flashy pop star. Mzambia is level-headed, well-mannered and still with a trace of naivety. Do you think that people are ready to listen to a 13-year-old boy when he tells them what they should be doing? Yeah, they are ready to listen. And it's amazing because small boys tell them the things that they are happening here in the world and they must watch out for the AIDS and you know, uh, they must not supposed to do the crime. You, know. yeah. you may be too young to be talking about what life is all about or do you already know? Yeah, I'm too young to talk about it but I like to tell them, yeah. So you just do it anyway? Yes. And you think they listen? Yeah. Take him out of Soweto and he soaks up his surroundings. He's confident that he can make it well beyond his township. I'll be a big star, like, uh, see, like a president to be famous. How do you know that people mightn't say, oh, we've had enough, we're sick of his music? I don't know when they're going to say that, or they never say that, or they will always love me, I don't know. How do you know they'll always love you? I know. <laughs> How do you know? Because I'm a, I'm a small child uh, with the talent of music, you know. So you don't have any worries about the future? No. Zambia is one of the youngest artists to reach the heights of the South African music charts. He and his troupe of dancers are now taking their show across the country. It's symbolic in a way that he sings so loud, you know. Now, if you have been, you have had your voice stifled for a long time, when the time comes, then you're going to sing it so loud, which is why. And he sings so loud, so proudly, some reckless pride. It's, 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 it's amazing. The question now is how far can Zambia go? His mentors believe he has the talent and commitment to make it big. I think it's going to be bigger than Michael Jackson, according to my opinion. You know, actually in, in South Africa, you know, not, not international, but in South Africa, it's going to be around. You know, because we've got, we've got plans for him. Zambia faces the challenge of establishing a career which will grow with him, a future which will stretch beyond Soweto and mature beyond child stardom. Yes. 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 Yes.
Let you be the sexy. 